Hey guys, it's your girl Sherry and my new YouTube is going to be changing from Sherry Unshrunken to Marvelous Middies because I'm always talking to my Marvelous Middies. Um, for you guys who don't know what Marvelous Middies are, Marvelous Middies are ladies and it can be gentlemen too, guys over 40, so 40 and up. And I was on my way from the gym and I had to, I couldn't get home fast enough because I wanted to talk to you guys about this whole Aisha Curry thing. Um, apparently, I didn't see it. I, well, I did see it after I heard about it and I wanted to kind of see exactly what happened. I wanted to hear for myself. Apparently, Aisha Curry was on Red Table Talk. Um, I think it was maybe last night or two days ago. And um, apparently she confessed to Jada Pinkett Smith that she gets zero attention from men. And apparently, I mean, it like seriously blew up on, you know, on social media. This is like a major, major topic. And I was like, what's the problem so you know of course you get all these secondhand and you get a lot of secondhand information and stories and it was on the radio and you know so i was like you know let me listen for myself let me hear what she said you know and so what she said was kind of misinterpreted it, it went from she wanted more men in her life other than her husband now we all know i don't know in case you don't know aisha curry is the wife of nba player steph curry so she said out in the streets she gets zero male attention now that's what she said and i quote i made sure i listened to it she didn't say she wasn't getting enough male attention she didn't say that you know so i was like why are they dragging this woman this woman in the streets you know why are they i mean they absolutely crucified her they slayed her on on social media you guys uh, for one, I think that she's a beautiful, beautiful woman, um, and she's pretty accomplished in her own right. I mean, she she's like a major chef. She has she's written books. She has um, you know, a huge, huge social media following, and she's an influencer. She's um, she's known for being this like super great mom, and she's just awesome, right? And. So I'm just like, why does, she, why is, first of all, why is everybody like dragging her the way they are? You know, I couldn't understand why. Because she did not disrespect her home. She did not disrespect her marriage. She didn't respect her husband. She didn't say Steph wasn't handling business in the bedroom, okay? She didn't say that. She didn't say, you know, I'm looking for guys to be checking for me and looking for me. You know, I'm looking for guys to be um, after me and, you know, getting all this outside male attention um in the streets she didn't say any of that you know and so i was kind of like why are they dragging this woman uh i was like first of all i was like why does she not get any male attention in the streets i i couldn't figure that out for one thing because she is absolutely beautiful she's very intelligent she's very ar articulate and i couldn't figure out why she's not getting any attention in the streets and the only thing you know let me say like i said she's really getting dragged on social media okay um and you know guys are saying everything and ladies are saying things like you know she needs to lose some weight that is bogus that's bull crap that's bull crap because um it doesn't matter i know women that are 100 pounds and think they're they you know they don't have enough ass they're you know they're, they're not they don't have enough of you know body you know they can't hold their own with all the booty Instagram girls and you know and I know 400 pound women who are slaying it out in the streets okay they are pulling all types of male attention they have men lined up okay so it just it doesn't that's not it it's not it the only thing I can see is maybe if she I've looked at some of her pictures and in the past she has gained a little weight with you know with the kids and getting older and probably busy or what have you she is a major chef she's a great cook maybe you know she's just not um, she's not taking care of herself as much as she's taking care of the people in her life her family but if she owned it, if she owned that weight, if she owned her style, if she if she was 
if she out, was out there with attitude, whatever you have, you got to own it. And you have to have the attitude. I don't care how much you weigh and I don't care what, you're, what you look like. Whatever you own, whatever you have, you have to own it. And your attitude, your attitude, if you love yourself and you feel attractive and you, and you display that, you attract what you are. So I think that maybe her confidence level is not what it used to be. And perhaps that's why she's not, she's not getting any male attention. Now, and there's nothing wrong with her wanting to have male attention. Why? I mean, okay, so the thing is this, and I'm just going to say because it it's the truth. Nobody wants what somebody else doesn't want. Okay, and you know what I'm talking about, right? I mean, guys, you know what I mean? You know, you might have a lady on your arm or you might be with a lady and you know, you're not quite sure how you feel about her until you get her out in the streets and then all your boys are like, damn, man, she is, up. you know, all of that. I mean, you know, until your boys or to until you get some sort of confirmation and from other people and it can even be strangers you know and they're giving you the wink in the eye and they're saying you know all right then all of a sudden you like her nobody wants what somebody else does not want and you know that too ladies when you're with a guy and he is treating you like crap and you break up with him and then you see him out in the streets with another guy all of a sudden he's like damn why did i leave her behind she she looks she's starting to look good to me you know what i'm saying nobody wants what somebody else doesn't want and ladies that is one reason why we have got to keep it together I, yeah you guys i don't have my glasses on i wish i could read these comments i'm reading some of these comments and i'm saying yes yes ladies you're agreeing with me so there is absolutely nothing wrong with her wanting to know that she still is attractive to other men i mean even when when you're in a committed loving relationship with a partner that you know you're absolutely enamored with and you're in love with that person it doesn't matter if i mean you know, let's face it you know if you put on a dress or you get dressed up even if that person is unconditionally in love with you and committed to you no matter what you have on they're gonna say you look good you know you never you know if they love you and to them you probably do look good and but the real way to test if you're really still looking good is how many heads are you turning out in the streets? You want to know, you know how it is. You want to know that you are turning heads in the street. And that is how you know that you're really looking good. You know those days, you're like, I must look good today because I've been turning all type of heads. That's all I'm saying is that what she, that's what she wants to feel. And obviously, that is not what she is feeling. So, And there's nothing wrong with her wanting to feel that. Um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. She... It's okay to feel that way. It's okay to feel good about yourself. Men, men and ladies, you all know what I'm talking about. You want to, you know, you want to know you still got it popping in the streets, you know? It's good to come home to, you know, Boo Boo. Boo Boo is going to love you and you're going to love Boo Boo no matter what they look like. Hopefully, if they gain 100 pounds or if they lose all their hair or whatever, you're still going to love each other. But the way you feel a lot of times, the way you build your confidence about the way you look is by the reaction you get from strangers. It, it is what it is. It doesn't mean you're unfaithful or you're, you know, or you're a thought or any of that. It doesn't mean any of that. All it means is that strangers are not going to lie to you. Okay? That's all it means. They're not going to lie to you verbally and they're not going to lie to you physically the way they react to the way you look okay so that's all i'm saying and um so there's nothing wrong with that guys and ladies now the only thing i can say is that she needs to um like i said she just she's a beautiful lady in her own right and she needs to get an attitude adjustment but one of the reasons why this kind of hit home to me is because um, I always talk out there to my marvelous middies, women over 40s. And one of the things that came up and still comes up all the time with my women over 40 is that um, they e there was even this huge poll done about it. It was on the talk and on the view about how women over 40, as they get older, they feel like their, their beauty is being robbed from them. 
And um, a lot of times women don't want to talk about that as they get older, you know. Um, marvelous midi tribe out there, you guys. I'm reaching out to you guys. I'm hoping, hoping that you will post um, comments, you know, comment and tell me, um, do you feel that way? But I do know that it's a thing, okay? It's a thing. Women, as we get older, do feel like we're being we're not as relevant and we're not as attractive and we don't get as many head turns as we used to okay so i don't think that's a secret please comment and share with us um you know because we all need that affirmation so i guess the the main question i'm gonna ask i just really want to ask all the ladies out there i don't care what your age I don't care if you're a millennial or I don't care if you're a marvelous midi. I don't care, you know, if you're Gen X. I just want to know, ladies, do you feel like you're getting enough male attention? I want to know. Please, please, please help me because I got to know. I got to know. Comment. I want to know, is it just me and my tribe or is it just the ladies that contact me or DM me? I want to know ladies do you feel like you're getting enough male attention okay and then the last thing before i end this stream is that i just got to shout out to those curry women the curry women um on uh, this is my first time watching red table talk um those curry women are absolutely beautiful all of them are so beautiful and not just because of their outside beauty they're they're just confident and well spoken and they're very articulate intelligent women and they're just they're absolutely beautiful and they're they're just elegant and graceful women um so i just have to shout out to them for that the other thing is that sonia curry she is the matriarch of the family and she and she is talking about marvelous middies that lady is beautiful and she's she's 52 and um she's gorgeous she's absolutely gorgeous and then of course i cannot not stop the shouts without saying uh, giving a huge shout out to miss jada pinkett smith she's also a marvelous midi um i don't know exactly how old jada, jada is but i know she's you know she's got to be close to 50. she's she is slaying it she is looking great i mean she her body is together her face she is always just always just always together she's gorgeous and i have to give her a shout out also about her red table talk um this particular show had um two point over 2.7 million views okay um i had my doubts i thought when she started red table talk that this was kind of beneath her i thought you know she was a major box office star in her own right huge producer and i really thought this was going to be beneath her i really did think this was going to be beneath her but she is slaying this uh, she is doing her thing with this show you guys this one this particular show not only got 2.7 million views it was actually shared over 200,000 times in such a short period of time she she is doing an awesome job with this show and I'm really proud of her I thought you know I was like yeah that's kind of corny and cheesy she's got her mom and she got her daughter dragging her daughter on the show um not that I'm never gonna have my Nadia on the show Nadia has her own um travel blog on YouTube and so, you know, who knows, one of these days we may do something too. But I just thought it was beneath her. But she is, she's proved me wrong and she's doing a great job. So shout out to you, Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, so anyway, guys, as I said, please comment um, and let me know. Ladies, do you feel that you get enough male attention? I'm going to post this on my YouTube channel, which is now Marvelous Midi. Um, and I am um, also, of course, going to post this on my ig channel um but guys yeah please comment and let me know lady do you get enough male attention all right y'all i'm gonna let you go enjoy the rest of your hump day and i'm gonna do the same all right y'all have a great day talk to you later bye